Hey, do you like my new desktop background I made? Well, welcome back to Cynic Placebo's Halloween Marathon. I am playing through all of the lesser-known Halloween games in my Steam backlog, and this one is Doorways Prelude. Uh, you can see here it doesn't have very many reviews. Uh, it's a little bit of an older game, so it's nine years old. A lot of people aren't familiar with it, but these are all of the things it's got on there, and I like some of these tags, like psychological horror, crime, dark, first person. So let's give it a go and see what we've got going on here. Ooh, sound design's already good. I did launch uh, the game once just to, you know, check the sound levels, but so far it seems pretty good. Now this one has full controller support, but I'm going to do it with keyboard and mouse just because I tend to prefer that. We'll see. Some, some games I prefer controller, but we're going to try it this way first. We okay. have been assigned some cases. These psychopaths must be found. The other agents couldn't get them. But I can do it. This guy's voice is buttery smooth. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Let's see here. Controls. Move forward with Saad. Jump is space. Crouch is control. Slow down is shift. So I guess we run automatically most of the time. Interact is mouse one. Pull objects is mouse two. All right. Good to know. And the credits. All right. So let's just get into it. So yeah, if I hold shift, I go real slow. I can't sprint, but I can... But the normal walking speed is pretty good. So that's nice. Well, there's a door over there, but let's try this one first, huh? The journey will not begin until you are ready. What do you need? A box to keep valuable objects, a place to locate notes, letters, and other papers, and a bag to put tools to use when necessary. Okay, so I assume those are over here. I've got the lights down low to make sure I will get the most scared. I mean, so far the ambiance is good. I like it. All right, we're going to follow the left wall. To crouch. Hold control. Okay. All right. So it's going to be very tutorial heavy at the first. That's fine. I mean, I get I get that that's needed. Hold mouse one over objects to push them. Hold mouse two to attract them. If you found an item, focus on it and press mouse one to pick it up. All right. I can have a rock. Yes, my rock. Come with me. I will bludgeon everyone. No. All right. Okay, is there something back behind here that I can pick up? No? Uh, is that just... That's all that's here? Just rocks, huh? Is there, like, a key under one of these rocks? Ah. There we go. Relics! Alright, R for relics. So if I hit R, will that bring it up? Oh, I already have a relic in there. A poor, neutered Oscar man. Alright, anything else? Let's just double check. Make sure that's the only thing in here. It probably is, but you know. Better safe than backtracking, I always say. It got real scary, and I'm not sure why. Like, the sound design got scary. I wonder if I was supposed to have turned around and seen something, but I didn't. I was obliviously pushing rocks. What do we have down here? Fire. Fire. Fire! Ba 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 ba! I bid you to burn! Is that nothing down that pathway? Alright. Seems like a waste, unless I can go up and over. Nope. I know that Head Bob makes games a little more realistic, but oof, definitely makes them more seasick, that's for sure. Alright, I missed this one before. I should have followed this one to stay on the right wall, but, or left wall. <laughs> I know my left and my right. I'm a big boy. Again, I feel like I was supposed to see something there, but I didn't. All right, we got water down in here. Ooh, there's something. I don't know. That might have been the door we came through, I guess. Yeah, I guess it was. I just didn't realize it was so ornate. Move forward and jump at the same time using space. Wow, this is you know, very basic. They were expecting people... Ooh. Alright, well, I said it was very basic, and then I fell in the water. They were expecting people to not be familiar with platformers at all. I will say, though, that there's... Without a sprint, 
it does feel a little awkward to try to jump over something like that. Okay, can I get up here? Oh, there we go. Um, back up and at him. Can't keep me down. Alright. Notes. Okay, notes with N, relics with R. Got it. Back down we go. I think I just need one more thing. And it should be over this away. Oh, we got a branching cave. I'm going to go down the right wall just because I saw this first. All right, what do we got? The, the walls in this cave seem to be closing in on me. But something about this place seems familiar. I feel calm for some reason. My belongings, or what I think are my belongings, are here. All right. So we've got a kleptomaniac who feels comfortable around his stolen goods. Sounds legit. All right. I like the, the dark level. It's not too dark. Like, it's not so dark you feel like you need a flashlight, but it's dark enough that you feel like there could be something hiding in the corners, right? Make your own way to get to the top. All right, so we got to push things. Uh, is there a bigger stone? Because I don't feel like that one's big enough to get up here. Oh, I guess it was. All right. Items. So items I, notes, and relics are. I mean, aren't relics just items? Fancy items? Alright. Back down we go. We're going to take the shortcut. Probably could have jumped off there. I probably should have to test to see if there's fall damage. Alright, and back out. Now should let us out of this tutorial zone and into the real game, hopefully. Got all our things. You have found all you need. Check your inventory to find a way to pass through the door. Open your inventory by pressing tab. Alright. Uh, well, it's not going to be options. Might be items. Might be relics. Maybe that Oscar man has a... Has like a... An imprint on the bottom that... No, it doesn't look like it. At least I can't figure out how to use it. Alright. So we'll go back. How about in items? Ah, there we go. That looks a little more key-like, doesn't it? The Legends of the Hidden... Wait, that's probably trademarked. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? There are things which are burned into my memory. My name is Thomas Foster, and my duty is to bring these four psychopaths to justice. I just hope to resist their sadistic influences. Their corrupted minds could overpower my own. I will find them. I must. You better be a psychologist. If not, you're uh, couch diagnosing these people as psychopaths, which seems a little psychopathic to me, if I might hypocritically call you that. No more introductions. Sweet. Okay. We're on to the real game now. Well, we're on to a loading screen. The real loading screen now. Press any key. The any key is my favorite key. Chapter 1, The Forest of Stakes. Alright, what do we have here? Got... It's a little grainy. But I guess that's a scary aesthetic Jay too. Gibbs, London, England, 1962. Professor of History. Suspected for the kidnapping of 17 people. Disappeared in the adjoining areas of a cabin owned by his family. The missing persons have in common certain indirect factors. Religions or pagan practices. Foreign nationality that are not reason enough for the local police to start an investigation. Doorways link the profiles of the victims to the topics in which Professor Gibbs specializes. See how the text kind of goes up and down? If you're old enough to understand why, comment down below. 
<laughs> These young kids are probably like, why is the text always wonky in these old games? Alright, do I just hop on down? Looks like it. Hey, another note. It's like little Hansel and Gretel breadcrumbs. I'd arrived at the crossroads. I knew I had to keep going and follow his steps if I wanted to find the professor. But I found something about the place absolutely terrifying. I felt trapped, oppressed by those dark veils. And I knew that I wouldn't be able to stand a single minute lost in the darkness. I need to find a light source as soon as possible. Oh no, is this one of those sanity bar games like Amnesia? Where if I'm not in the light, I'm going crazy. Oh, did I get turned around? I think I got turned around. No. Okay. Can I just take one of these torches? Gimme. Give You're mine now. Nope. Alright, is there a stick around here? That I might take... I mean, come on, looks like that torch would detach, right? I didn't come from this direction, did I? I might be turned around. Ah, the stick of portable light! Alright, can I see items? There we go, that's the one I want. Let's light you. There we go. I have made fire! What? Jumping puts out your fire? You are kidding me. I mean, I'm glad they taught me that right at the beginning, but that is crazy. The question is, is it limited fuel? If it's limited fuel, that's going to be a problem. What? Alright. So it's not limited fuel, it's just... It just only burns for a little bit. Then it goes out. Alright. Now from here, where... Was there another path that I missed? I feel like I must have, but... What am I missing? Alright, let's just hug the left wall and see... Oh, maybe it was back here. There it is. No. Is this backward? No, this is new. Okay. Well, no, no, no going back now. Am I going to burn this note if I click it? At that moment, I felt I was retracing the steps of many others like me. How did they overcome the mortal chill that lurks in the darkness? A jacket. Their souls went astray and got lost forever in the shadows. Because there was another horror that scared them even more, that made them flee into the dark woods. They fled the place I'm entering. Did they flee it as you entered? Because if so, it might not be the place. It might be you. All right. Uh, man, I keep getting turned around. I need to pay more attention. All right, that's the item I want. Give me, give me some light. might be backwards, I can't tell. Whoa, not backward. What? Did that kill me? Or was that just a vision of people and now they're gone? I'm a little confused. Uh, what? Alright, let's get our torch back out. I need a hotkey to equip that more easily. Ooh. The Black Pearl. Guess it's not a ship. It did kind of look like it originally, but now... Now it's just a parkour course. Steady, steady. Keep your balance. Take that, I walked all the planks.
Ooh, it's just dark enough. It's a little hard to see, but we need a slightly better moon out. Oh. Um. Am I supposed to talk to you? I think that was a no. Find another way. All right. So, I'm not supposed to go by her. Is she going to chase me is the question. Find another way. Oh, I can't see this way as well as I can see the other way. If I should go back, she's still there, right? Hmm. What about way out here? Is there anything to jump to? Doesn't look like it. Oh, it's so dark. I was just saying I could see okay, but it definitely seems directional. The one way I can see well, and the other way I can't. Alright, so they're just going to make me backtrack this whole way, huh? Or am I supposed to find a way past her? Did I have any relics? I mean, maybe I could have given her the relic. Hmm, should I try that before I walk away? Well, I'm already most of the way away. We'll look and see if we can find another way, as they said. Alright. Which way, which way? I do wish I could walk a little faster, but I think it's, you know, they're probably trying to keep up the suspense. I guess, I mean, no, because the torch doesn't stay on long enough. I could never get there with a torch. Okay, I came from there. I can't go back. That's, well, maybe I can, actually. No, can't go back. Let's get our torch lit. Hug this left wall. See if there's something over here that I missed. I mean, that's just the same thing. Can I light it all on fire? Light the boat on fire. Or other. It's not a boat, but it kind of looks like a boat. Hmm. Well. That appears to be the only way. There is a torch there. But it's one of those high torches I can't reach to light stuff with, right? Maybe maybe I can hop up higher to it? No. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's try giving that girl the relic. I mean, I can't get up to that torch. Maybe. No. Too high. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm supposed to fall off of something and go down below. I guess there could be like a lower bridge that I didn't see in the dark. This, I mean, can I hop from this one to that one? No. Okay, well, she's definitely still there. I definitely can't reach these torch spots. So we're going to try to relic it because. No, I can't use the relic. Hmm. Maybe if we're a little closer. And relic! Relic! <laughs> relic! Come on! Take my relic! Okay, what if I hopped over here? She'll really let me walk this close behind her? Alright, if you say so. Seems like an unobservant ghost to me, but I'll take it. Oh, let's get our torch out just in case. Ooh, what happened? That was weird, it got all dark. Uh. Okay. Ooh. Oh no. 
racing now. The controls on this are... Oh, crazy. No. Back up. The controls on this aren't, like, super floaty, but they're a little floaty. Enough so that I don't love the parkouring, but... I wonder if it would feel more or less floaty with a controller. Not sure. I think part of it's just that the walking speed is so slow. And I'm used to faster walking speeds in games. Especially games where you can parkour. Alright, I'm assuming that that like, blackout thing is just a save point, but I'm not 100% sure. What do we have here? Uh oh, am I gonna get there in time? I need a light source! Run away! Whew, made it. I wonder what happens if I'm in the dark for too long. I mean, they kind of implied it was insanity, but I guess it could be that the ghost comes and gets you. Into the dark we go. Oh, what? Oh, sweet! Woo hee wa hee ha hee ha hoo! Shark bait! Woo ha ha! Why does he keep putting my torch away? It's like any time there's a cutscene sort of thing, it says, Ah, oh, you don't need your torch anymore. Put that away. Go in and torch first. I mean, I know it's not really a weapon, but come on. In real life, if I swung this at you, you'd be scared. Okay, I can't push or pull it. Oh, look at that. Alright, and of course it put away my torch, because it doesn't like torches. Ooh. The hangman's noose room. Not my favorite room. Uh, oh! Shiza! Uh, well, okay, it like cutscened, so now I gotta wait for it to go again. Is it just on a timer? Or do I just have to jump fast? Can I like... Alright, I guess you just go fast over it. Weird. Seems a little easy. Ooh, that looks like it's gonna fall and crush me. We're gonna bypass that just in case. Ooh. Alright, let's run through and see what happens. All these, like, wood... Oh! And then I didn't see the real booby trap. Alright, we're gonna jump. All these would-be booby traps are throwing me off. Oh, did I just jump all the way over it? Wow! I got mad hops! Kinda wanna know if that's gonna fall on my head. Oof! I didn't find out because I got spiked too fast. Alright. I thought I could jump over two of them. I mean, I got mad hops, right? So, why not? Alright. Now in here... Ah, I can... Oh! <laughs> I missed. I was curious, though, what that audio was about. It sounded like something showed up and then I didn't see it. So far, so good. Now that I'm on top of my parkour game. Hardcore parkour! I mean... The, the, oh, I feel scared. That sound design's good. I don't know... I don't know what it is that's coming to get me, but I feel like something is, and I gotta move fast. Oh. I just died again, didn't I? Yep. Where am I? Oh no, I just saw a vision of other people dying. Okay. Oh, it's just dark enough it's hard to make out. Not that kind of make out. Grow up! Alright. 
That was a save point. Hun oh. people were tortured in this timeless place. I was getting ready to read it for you. What is this castle doing here? I could swear that there were no buildings or ruins like this in these woods. Many of the victims were prisoners of war, but some, some are much more recent. Of those I can see, I can look through their eyes. All of them are males, prisoners, yes, but there were no wars being fought when they were caught. They were kidnapped, one by one, and brought here by the professor. Might he see himself as a righteous man, an emissary of God? Maybe you'll have to ask him. All right, I I pulled that down. What did it do exactly? Didn't seem to do anything over here, but while I'm at it, let's pull out my torch, huh? Yeah, torch time. Just helps me see in the corners, which gives me a chance at seeing something. I feel like I'm missing something. What did it open? What did that lever do? Yeah, I keep hearing that noise. It makes me think that I'm seeing something, but... Or that I should be seeing something. It doesn't seem like I can go through there, right? I just have to backtrack? Really? Hmm. Is there a closed door before that I... This can't be right. This can't be right, right? Goodness gracious, and then I nick it. Well, it's pointing me in this direction, so clearly it at least understood that I was trying to go this way. But was it understanding that because that's the right way to go, or just because it's like, hey, this dummy's going backwards, let's remember that and help him go backward. I don't see any other path to go, right? Back to the hangman's noose room. Ooh, I can feel my GPU heating this room up. Oh, I unlocked the t front door. <laughs> no, I didn't? You're kidding me. What on earth did I do then? Oh, there's another path over here. Okay. Well, let's light our torch and go that way and see. Alright. What? Clock something bird. Arrow clock something bird. Arrow clock, I don't know, forks bird? What's that? Arrow clocks fork bird cage. All right. Arrow. Clock. Forks. Bird cage. Uh, where's arrow? Clock. Forks. Bird cage. Uh, there's two arrows. All right. Whoo. Yeah, well, I remember that to get out. Well, let's go left first, I guess. Oh, no. Arrow clock. Arrow clock. What? Wait. Arrow forks clock birdcage. Okay. Arrow forks clock birdcage. Arrow forks clock birdcage. Arrow forks clock birdcage, arrow, forks, uh oh, can I go kitty corner, forks, ugh, can I hop it, arrow, forks, clock, birdcage, arrow, forks, clock, birdcage, yeah, same thing every time, right, can I hop maybe, arrow, forks, Clock, bird cage, arrow. 
I'm gonna hop. Forks. Clock. Bird cage. Arrow. Forks. Clock. Bird cage. Arrow. Forks. Uh oh. And jump! <laughs> Alright. That'll do. What? Oh, man, they got me. Alright. Burn all the witches. Burn through the witches, my Dragula. Alright. Alright, that probably opened that main gate, right? Because now I've done two of them. And there was still a path I didn't take yet. At that moment, I remember wondering, is all of this just my imagination? Perhaps now I should add, or is it a figment of the broken memory of this maniac? Could the background of the tortured and murdered victims of this chamber have something to do with it? They were accused of witchcraft. Maybe something esoteric tainted their souls. And now, hundreds of years later, I'm being poisoned by their curse. Ooh, esoteric. Somebody went to college. My thought made me remember one of the details of the investigation that brought me to this place. A girl had gone missing in the proximity of these woods. An unfortunate teenager that, after some inquiries, I linked to Wiccan practices. Had she been kidnapped and tortured to pay for her heresies? He gads. All right. Oh no. How am I gonna go backward through here? Oh. Oh no. Arrow, arrow, clock, fork, fork, bird. Arrow, arrow, clock, fork, fork, bird. Arrow, arrow, clock, fork, fork, bird. Alright, arrow, arrow, clock. Alright, so arrow, arrow. Lock. Maybe if I get off of it, it doesn't count. Arrow, arrow, clock, fork, fork, bird. Arrow. Arrow. Clock. Oh, man. Oh. I need, like, third person mode so I can see my feet so I don't accidentally nick things. Arrow, arrow, clock, fork, fork, bird. Yeah, arrow, arrow, clock, fork, fork, bird. Arrow. Arrow. Clock. Fork. Fork. Bird. Arrow. Arrow. Clock. Fork. Fork. Bird. All right. Get out of there. Arrow, clock, fork, bird. Oh. Arrow, clock, fork, bird, fork, clock. Arrow, clock, fork, bird, fork, clock. <laughs> Arrow, clock, bird. No. Arrow, clock, fork, bird, fork, clock. Arrow, clock, fork, bird, fork, clock. Oh wait, there was this other path. I wanted to check that out. I forgot about this. Oh. Can I get through there? Can I shimmy? Lay down. I could shimmy through there. Come on. All right. All right. It was arrow clock. Where's an so we're going to go arrow, clock, fork, bird, fork, clock, and jump. All right. All right, that front door better be open. Because if not, I've just backtracked a long way for no reason. Oh, 
I thought it wasn't. They tricked me, because it kind of, at the first, just made the same noise as though it wasn't going to open. Alright, I might call it here. I was hoping to see a little bit more, but I also don't want to give away the whole game. Again, the, my whole purpose here with these uh, Halloween games is that I'm just trying to expose some interesting games to see, you know, what would be a hidden gem. And I think this might constitute one of them, because this is not one I'd heard of. Uh, and it hasn't had a lot of reviews, and so clearly, it needs to get seen. I remember having felt Let him finish reading. When I left behind those sinister dungeons, with their dark halls and their whispers, the presence of those accusing, tortured souls was killing me at every step. I didn't do this! Once in the clearing, the tranquility of having found an exit was interrupted by the sudden notion of my finding me once again in the dark woods, those haunting shadows were starting to drive me insane. Still, something kept me moving forward. I knew I was closer than ever to the place I needed to find. I was determined to discover the truth. Whoever was responsible would pay for the suffering he caused. Ooh. Well, that payment will have to wait because I'm calling it here. So, if this seems like your sort of a game, Give it a try. It seems like a good one to me. Seems like it might just be a hidden gem. Until next time, I've been Cynical Placebo. Cheers.